Hey everyone! Welcome back to another SOAR episode from this season's theme of book chillers for books that provide food for thought. If you haven't already, be sure to listen to last week's episode on the book In Cart. Today's book chiller is for the book Thunderhead, the second book of the Scythe series by Neil Shusterman. If you have not read the first book, Scythe, please be warned that if you continue on with this book chiller, it may contain spoilers. The book begins with Scythe Brahms, a man who has ideals similar to those of the late Scythe Goddard from book one. He completes an entertaining gleaning when he is suddenly attacked by a Scythe in black robes. This man calls himself Scythe Lucifer and accuses Brahms of abusing his position and crimes against humanity. Lucifer grants him one more chance, saying that he will let him go but that if he gleans dishonorably even one more time, Lucifer will murder him and burn him so bad that even revival centers can't bring him back. As revealed at the end of book one, Citra's friend Rowan is Scythe Lucifer, and he has taken up the responsibility to purge the world of evil Scythes like Scythe Goddard. Citra has taken the name Scythe Anastasia and gleans with patience and kindness. She gives her victims one month to say their goodbyes and get their affairs in order, and then she also lets them choose the method of execution. At Citra's first conclave, she is below her quota and is scolded for her gleaning techniques, but she defends them well. Under her mentor and friend, Scythe Kiri, she travels all over the country to engage in these gleanings. Citra and Kiri are driving home from a double gleaning one day when a young boy jumps in front of their car. Even though Citra slams the brakes, they hit him. When they come out, he mumbles something before dying. Citra realizes that he was saying booby trap, and that only 10 feet away was a wire connected to many explosives. The kid had saved their life, but had to sacrifice his in the process. Sure, he would be fixed up at a revival center within a few days, but it still wouldn't be fun. Who is trying to murder Citra and Kiri? Why are they doing so? Who is this kid who saved their life? How did he know they were in danger? Read to find out and join this thrilling sequel to Scythe from the Scythe series. For me, this book was a roller coaster ride. I had already developed deep connections to the characters from the first book, and it was certainly an excellently made sequel. The ending left me with my jaw dropping wide. This book is full of thrill, mystery, action, suspense, adventure, change, twists, friendship, hope, and is truly a book that I would recommend. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to leave a rating and review, and to spread the word about SOAR to help achieve its goal of promoting reading. I implore you to SOAR.